Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. I was just reviewing some of my recent Pokemon polls, seeing which one were good enough to be graded. And here's the honest truth. None of them were good enough to be graded. The crazy thing is quality control on English Pokemon cards. And this of course includes the international scene as well. This includes French, Spanish, German cards and whatnot, because they're all pretty much printed at the exact same factory. And this is something we've known for a while, that the quality control for English Pokemon cards is terrible. It's been the butt of so many different jokes. But the honest truth is, I just can't get over it anymore because none of these cards are grade worthy. I'm still going to love them. They're going to stay inside of my binder. I'm going to cherish these cards. But as a collector who's really passionate about Pokemon card collecting, I want my cards to be as pristine as possible. And I'm sure you do as well. And the thing is, these cards are coming to us in terrible condition. For example, this is a pretty basic one. It's just Alessa Sparkle, one of my top pulls. I'm not going to talk about some random common or uncommon cards that have really bad errors, but this one is just really poorly centered, and that's completely okay. I'm not someone who is a big stickler on that, but I think some of the more egregious errors are the ones where they come to you with actual damage like for example we have this reggie gigas v star and i'm going to zoom in really close this card is literally coming to me already chipped and damaged and so i'm really happy that i pulled this reggie gigas v star i love the art on it and this is a card that i definitely want to cherish but the crazy thing is these cards are coming to us so damaged that i'm at a loss for words honestly that we just sort of accept this this is just the norm that English cards are just covered with errors and terrible whitenings and chips on their corner and bad centering and all these terrible, terrible things. It's not just one card. I wouldn't be this mad if it was. It just comes down to that every one of my cards have some kind of issues with them. Every one of my hits, every one of my pulls has some kind of quality issues with them. And I'll just give you some examples. So we recently graded some Marnie Full Art Trainer cards for the Community Portfolio, a series that I've been running for quite a while. And here we have the Marnie Full Art in English, and it came back as a PSA 8. Not a bad grade by any stretch of the imagination, but you can see that there's just issues with it right away. The centering's already bad, and I'm sure that there's probably whitening and other issues with it. The best we got was a PSA 9. I only sent in a single Japanese Marnie Full Art, and of course it came back as a PSA 10. And in my recent PSA returns, I graded probably over 100 of these Pikachu promo cards, and I would say 9 out of 10 times we're getting a PSA 10. For English cards, I'm lucky. I'm lucky if one out of every 10 cards is a PSA 10. The quality is just so bad. If you browse social media, you can find so many examples of terrible miscuts, misprints, and all kinds of potential issues when you're buying products from the Pokemon company. As someone that's been collecting for years, this is something that I've always had to dealt with. But at a certain point, it just really wears on you that every single new car that you get, no matter how good or happy you are with the pull, you just know that there's going to be some kind of issue with it. You have to be so lucky, so lucky to get a nice quality card. And that's honestly the standard. You should be confident in your purchase that the cards are going to come to you in pristine condition. And that's not what we're really getting. It's just terrible. And I have seen just about every single error you can possibly think of. Everything from the most simple stuff like a hollow bleed card. But we've also gotten some of the most egregious error you can think of. We've seen whole entire booster packs that punch onto the cards, right? The cards just have the booster packs punch right onto them. We've seen a bolt inside of our booster box, and I have that on video. I found a bolt straight from the factory line inside of one of my booster box. That's how bad the quality on some of these booster packs can get. So as someone who really enjoys collecting Pokemon cards, the fact that Crown Zenith cards have such bad quality to them just drains me. It just makes me not want to really collect this set anymore when I know that all of my cards are going to come with some level of chip damage, whitening, miscentering, every kind of error that you can think of. All right, we pull something good. Let's see if this Hisuian Samurott V is going to be a decent quality card or not. 
The centering is definitely a little bit off, but that's not the end of the world. I'm not a big stickler when it comes to a perfectly centered card. I'm okay with that. The secondary issue is definitely that I see a little bit of a white chip on the bottom corner of this card. So that's like the little stuff that really bothers me is that cards like this, which I absolutely love, I think this Hisu and Samurott is actually one of my favorite cards from this set. I just love the design of it. It's a really nice card. I love this kind of visual. The colors really pop for me. I love the autumn leaves. This is just my kind of card, and it's something that I really, really want to cherish. And I can tell you right now, if I were to get this card graded, it's probably going to come back as either a 9 or an 8. It's so unlikely to get anything that's a 10 from Crown Zenith that it's just so, so unfortunate. And I'm trying to be honestly as positive as I can. And even if I can find errors, then I know for sure that a professional card grader can find those errors as well. So it's just like seeing a really nice art piece with some kind of blemish, some kind of issue. It's like seeing a beautiful painting in just a really poor frame. Those things can occur and it does hurt the appeal of the cards to me. And that's so disheartening that this is a card that I pulled and I am super, super stoked to pull it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the hits that I get, but it's so disheartening when you pull so many beautiful and nice cards and know that they're imperfect from the moment that you got them through no fault of your own. This is not your fault. This is not my fault. The Pokemon company is just willing to accept that there's going to be poor quality. And that's something that we don't have to accept. That's the crazy thing is that in the Japanese market, they have great quality control. I am so confident in the quality of my Japanese Pokemon cards. So I know that the Pokemon company can do it. It's just a cultural aspect that on the international side, we just accept poor quality. It's just something that we sort of accept now that our cards are going to come back in poor condition, that we're going to get cards straight from the pack that is going to come to us with some kind of errors, some kind of issue. If it's not one thing, it's another. And I'm so sick and tired of seeing all kinds of issues with my cards. If it's not one thing, it's another. And it keeps happening to every single new card that I pull, that at a certain point, I'm just thinking every card is gonna be a binder copy. And I'm just gonna have to enjoy knowing the fact that all of my cards have some kind of lingering issues with them. At this point, I don't even grade English promo cards anymore. It's just not worth it. Any card that you get, if you got yourself a special delivery Charizard uh, recently in the mail, if you got any card from any promo box like the Elite Trainer boxes or any V Collection box, those cards, especially um, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, those cards can come to you with so many issues. There's just so many issues with them. Inside of the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, I had so many people message me that they got the wrong cards they got two charizard v max and one charizard v and they didn't even get their charizard v star promo cards it's just issues like these some people were messaging me that they got one booster pack missing they had a missing booster pack inside of their ultra premium collection and of course when i open up my ultra premium collection i had an extra booster pack in mine which is something that should i be happy about I should be happy about that, but that just sort of means maybe someone else was missing theirs. So I just sort of took someone else's booster pack. So it's little issues like that that the Pokemon company just keeps on piling up. And every single new product that we get just comes with more and more issues. And at a certain point, it just becomes a little bit of a joke. Now, the Pokemon company and I have a very good working relationship. Uh, I've done a lot of product reviews for them. I've opened up a ton of their products. And at the same time, I'm not beholden to the Pokemon company. If I see an issue with them, I'm more than happy to raise a flag and talk about it. I'm not someone that's just going to be happy with every single thing I'm given. If I think that there is an issue, especially with the quality of recent products, I think it is something that we need to discuss, is that all these cards are coming to us in terrible conditions, and at a certain point, I think people are just gonna accept it. It's been a running joke for so long that the English cards are terrible, that people just kind of accept it, and I really don't think that we need to accept something like that. 
All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much. I don't really know how I'm gonna proceed into the future. Am I still gonna be cracking open a ton of English products? I don't really know. I am definitely disheartened by the quality of English Pokemon cards over the last couple of years. We've seen just about every single error that you can imagine, and I'm just tired of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It's definitely a little bit more of an opinion piece compared to what I usually do. And I feel like this is something that every one of you can relate to. So definitely share your own experience when you're cracking open your booster pack. If you've seen something really weird, pretty much everyone has. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.